Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial giving you a bit of SEO um, help here. Basically, I'm using Dreamweaver here, but this will work in any text editor, whether you're using you know, basic word edit or any web authoring program when you get to get the code in. Here we've got an image on a normal website. Okay. Now, if we look at the code of the image, as usual, it says image to source and then the root to the actual image. Okay. Let's just zoom in so you can see this. Just there. Now, what we need to do here is add title equals open speech marks and we'll call it web design um, in Cyprus. Okay, and we'll just spell web design properly. This usually helps. Now, this title tag is immensely important to um, SEO okay so if you don't have title tags on your website you need to put them in there um, web designer um, in Cyprus now I've just added the alt tag as well now this is quite simply alt equals open speech marks and I've put an English web designer in Cyprus close speech marks Okay, now this is very important that you have these tags in place. Now, and you notice here, the end of the code is in the wrong place. Ensure it is within, I'm just cutting that, that it is within the image itself code. Now you see how it's just changed colour, which means it's now active and it's working. Okay, now we're just going to zoom out and I'll explain why they are so important. Now the alt tag was picked up by Google and other search engines, obviously Yahoo, Bing, etc. The title tag is also picked up as well. And to see a title tag in action, if I just let me just zoom in again here. Now this is on the new website, okay? So this is just one of the pictures. And when we hover over it, you can see it pops up Virgin PR Twitter background. So that picks up Twitter background for me. Um, it also increases the SEO, obviously. So please, everyone, if, you, if you're worried about your SEO or your site's not performing, then you need to go in and ensure that you have title and alt tags with each image within the image code bracket. Also, this image here, if you notice, is named River Graphic 2. That's a very bad name for an image. You're better naming it web space, uh, web underscore, sorry, design, uh, let's say tutorial tutorial okay now obviously the, the picture needs to be named that in the file as well where you're pointing it to not just in the programming now this gives you three extra key sentences for Google to pick up on now imagine if you've got a site with 50 images that's 150 extra key phrases so I hope this helps somebody not enough people do it please do it for your size thank you